a file and it's going to uh, it's first going to read all the actions from th your library file for this printf function and when it uh, when it finishes reading them it then goes to your program and then it implements or it calls that printf function and it evaluates that printf function inside your program that's to and um, we can see that inside uh, inside our uh, file that we named as print name.c so inside this compiler so this compiler this is the compilation process so when it uh, after it attaches all this library functionalities to your program it then converts that to something the machine can understand the so basically the machine can understand something like zero one one zero so this is a binary this is in binary format your machine can only understand two alphabets it has uh, the machine language constitutes of two alphabets so one is zero and the other one is one so if you form a word or if you provide the letter a for your machine to understand the letter a can be understood by human beings because it's in english but the machine does not understand what you're trying to uh, imply with this letter a it will con your compiler will convert that letter a to something like zero one zero one one or something i think the it's the correct one nonetheless it's uh, it will convert it to something like uh, it will convert it into a binary format so when it f converts that to a binary format and your machine reads that it will then understand that you're implying it to something called the letter a or the character a so likewise it will convert everything your compiler co will convert everything into binary format for the machine to understand and when you click on the run button this will this entire process happens when you click on the build button now when you click on the run button this entire thing is built this entire thing is compiled using your compiler which means it's converted into your machine language now your machine reads that and when you hit on run your machine then converts that into a console output that we as a human being can understand so uh, after the machine can understand what we are trying to say it r it uh, it stores that inside its memory and then it prints out on the console which we get as an output so there are actually three steps that's occurring i mean basically there are, are two steps so the first step is the compilation part uh, in here the compilation is occurring the second step is called the linking so linking is something like it's occurring inside here because this printf function is getting linked this library function is getting linked to your document so this is also known as linking behind the scenes so uh, in compilation your um, uh, your computer or your machine is bringing in the library along with your program it's then reading and linking your library functions with your program while it is compiling and then it's translating that uh, entire entire package into a binary format which the machine can understand this is just what's happening and what we imply by compiling or what we imply by a compiler this is just to understand that part so you don't need to worry about what happens behind the scene we just need to worry about what's happening when we try to use a uh, c program and when we try to build that and when we try to run that so these are the basic difference when uh, when you just build them or when you and when you run them or when you build and run them so just remember that when you uh, hit the build button your program is the 
only halfway to its uh, completion your program has just compiled it's not executed which means your machine did not translate that into a console output but when you hit run your machine has actually uh, translated your code into a console output and we can see that using our command prompt so remember that uh, we can use a string literal like this we can use a calculation we can even use a single num number like this if you do that let's erase this uh, arithmetic operation let's save this let's build and run this again so in here you see that we asked the compiler to print out the number 2 uh, inside our string so this is exactly working in a similar way as it did when we tried to do the uh, calculation in the calculation part it just calculated all those uh, uh, it just added those two values and then it uh, uh, printed out the result using the uh, format specifier now because we do not have any sort of calculation or we do not have any sort of arithmetic operation in here it's just taking the number and it's just uh, placing that number instead of this format specifier and then it's printing that out on our console now debugging is essentially um, it's essentially finding bugs or finding errors in your program and correcting them so let's actually quit this okay now you need to use this build log now this build log will tell you this is actually the uh, debugging process that be occurs when you try to build this uh, entire program now you need to um, spell out your words correctly you need to spell out each of those words correctly except the names that you define you will be will be creating um, functions by yourself but not in this chapter in that case when we try to use our own um, when we try to use our own um, function name it our compiler won't use a color coding like this you can see that our compiler is using a green color for the um, for this include header file or this directive this this entire thing is known as a directive okay now if you remove that you see it turns to black which means there is a mistake because if it's a uh, if it's a word that is included inside the C programming language which it then it should be uh, then the compiler would I mean then the editor your editor will will be able to understand that and if it understands that and we can recognize that by looking at the co uh, the coloring that it applies to to our code so when it understand when the editor is actually recognizing our code it will place colors on them but when it does not it will turn those codes into black so by that we can understand that there is a mistake in our code but nonetheless we, we should at least debug our script by ourselves and we, we should always take the uh, help from our debugger that oc that will tell us where the error is occurring but sometimes our de debugger or our uh, our debugger isn't very explicit or isn't very um, explanatory when it comes to explaining where the error has occurred so debugging is essentially the process of fixing your errors and bug when I um, when I refer to the term bug it means error bug is essentially the um, the uh, fundam uh, programming word for error so you need to write your words these are actually the vocabulary like this int or this hash or this pound symbol this pound symbol or this int uh, and this curly braces are like the vocabulary for this C programming language now because uh, the vo through a vocabulary the C compiler can understand what you implied what you're implying or what you're trying to do with your code so this was all about 
chapter one I will meet you in chapter three and we will get into um, we will get into learning about the different data types that are used with variables we will learn about variables and we will also learn about how to assign different types of values to a certain variable we will learn how to use variables in our program and what are the advantages of using a variable when it comes to programming and we will also look at different types of format specifier we have only looked at one type in here but there are several other types that needs to be used when it comes to uh, using different types of data so i'll ask you to uh, watch my ch uh, watch the second chapter of this series and please if you have any sort of comment if you so if you have any sort of question or if you want to suggest anything or if you want to suggest any sort of improvements please place your uh, place your suggestions on the comment section place your questions on the comment section and I'll try to answer them as uh, as quickly as possible and I'll try to uh, answer them uh, so that it, it gets a lot easier for you and please like my videos and please please subscribe to my channel and if you have other suggestions for my videos please uh, place them on the comments section and happy coding and salam and I'll ask you to um, watch my uh, s watch the second chapter where we'll be looking at variables